Hey guys, we are here today with Chris Jesse and Joe DeVito, and they're going to tell us some of the interesting things they have going on. And what is that, Chris? We have on June 11th um, a theater show going on in Madison, Indiana at the historic Ohio Theater downtown. That's that's wonderful. And then what's the band that's going to be there, Joe? Well, it's uh, Chris Jesse and Nine Mile Reach. That's our backup band for Chris, right. and it's an all original show, all original music by Chris at June 11th at the historic Ohio Theater downtown Madison. Uh, should be a great night of music. Oh, wow. Now, um, how long have you guys been doing, playing music together? Well, me and Chris first got together playing 12, 13 years ago. Right. And we had a, a successful Midwest touring band, I guess you could say, um, for quite a few years. Had a few different members in and out of the band. Right. Um, and we did that for uh, four or five years or so. And then... Uh, had some other projects here and there. I took a break for a while, and and uh, not too long ago, Chris got a hold of me and about last year and said he was thinking about doing an all original project. Right. And asked me if I'd be wanting to join in, and I was definitely wanting to do that. Uh, we did a lot of cover cover music in our other band, and uh, did a few original songs that Chris had written. And I always thought Chris was good at writing songs, and I thought it'd be really fun to be part of an original music project. And, didn't realize till we got into it how much Chris had been writing and how well he'd been writing. So we we got eight, nine, ten songs or so recorded for this CD release that's coming up at the Ohio Theater. Mm -hmm. um, we got CDs we'll be selling and a good portion will be coming with the tickets too. So they'll be we'll have CDs of original music there, but we've got right. he's got a stockpile of more music written ready to go. <laughs> yeah. So it's just keep jotting it down yeah, as you go. Yeah, yeah. Now, how can they get a hold of a ticket? Do they have to uh, buy the tickets in advance, or can they buy them the night of? You can buy them the night of. I think we just said we're going to do the the first hundred tickets. Um, is going to get a CD free, free of charge. Yes. Yeah, ten bucks to get in. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Good evening of music. I think starting off around six thirty. I think the doors are open at six. Uh, music will probably start around six thirty. We'll go on a little bit later and probably be done till nine thirty or ten o'clock. Oh, that's that's early. Anybody can make that. That's what we want. That'd be nice. Gives us time to hang out afterwards and yeah. possibly go out. Oh, neat. Well, that's great. Now, what do you have planned for this band? What is your goal for this band in the future? The band is, or the goal for the band is to, um, I don't know, we want to continue to do original music. Um, hopefully play more theater shows, more right. original music showcases festivals, that kind of thing. Uh, we want to be our own entity, I guess. We don't want to be a cover band. Um, not that we don't want to be a cover band, it's fun. We want to spread our music and see how far we can take it. Right. You, you just want to expand what you've been doing mm -hmm. <clears throat> and reach out and do a few different things. So that's that's a neat idea. Yeah, as long as everybody's having fun, I guess that's the most important thing. Yeah, um, we are having fun. It's a great band. It really is. Yeah. Um, you guys should come check it out. It's Probably the best project I've ever been involved with. Oh, well, now, who are all the members besides Joe? Now, Joe's the, one of the members of the band. Joe is who the else? most important member of the band. <laughs> um, Tom Steveley is our guitar player. Right. Um, he is, a sh uh, hands down, probably the best guitar player I know. Um, also, Greg Martin, he's a new uh, resident from Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. um, also, JT Glasgow, who's a Madisonian. Right. Um, he's the drummer, and he's... You know, awesome too. The whole band, the entire band is great. Oh, um, wow. Really, it's really a good project. And so, and all these guys, I mean, I've heard them, they, and they've been in this for a long time too. Mm -hmm. JT was um, the 12, 13 years Joe spoke of. JT was part of that. Right. Um, in the prior group. So, we've been mm -hmm. playing with him too. We've made some noise. We, we all click so well. It's, it's, um, I don't know. I can't say anything, but it's great. Right. Yeah, it's really great. It's a really great mix of musicians, especially in the original music part. Uh, you know, Chris, like I said, is writing great lyrics, and mm -hmm. he's he's bringing us songs that he's written and and arranged, and he, he plays them acoustically for us. And then and then we've got, uh, like he said, Tom brings a almost a lot of rock and roll and some really good. Uh, country kind, right. of, kind of music that he's played in the past and you know JT and I and Greg we all have kind of a different take on it but the, the mix is just perfect everybody right. when we come together it's, we've created what I think it I, Chris coined it perfectly as the most familiar sound you've never heard so, no neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now say that again <laughs> the most familiar sound you've never heard <laughs> I like that that's 
that does explain it really you know so now you've got things that are coming up in the summertime and you're you're scheduling now where can they find your scheduling i have a facebook page if you go to chris jesse music um you can find pretty much anything i'm doing i'm posting on there right um, so that's probably the best source of that would be mm -hmm. yeah that would be the best source and and you can always ask him questions on there too you know he'll yeah. answer them yeah yeah check us out man and like us that's great now is there anything else we need to make sure people know um do you have any other special events that they need to know about well we got we got one gig coming up uh this summer that i wanted to mention uh it's out at muscatatuck in, in yes North Vernon or Vernon, it's, I think it's right on the border when you get from Vernon to North Vernon, but um, out at the Muscat Muscatatuck at the park. Right. And uh, it's a first annual event, so I didn't want to make sure the word is out and people should check it out. Uh, it's called the Fermentation Celebration, mm -hmm. and it's celebrating beer. and uh, Wines too, it's all local brews, local um, wines. So it should be really cool. They're wanting something they're wanting to do every year. So yeah. um, hopefully we'll be a part of it every year. So they're yeah. wanting to make this an annual event yes, for, their, for the park. Yes, they are. Um, it's, and the folks are really good that's putting it on. They're really good people. Um, so yeah, it should be good. And there's a four or five bands, I think, of that. Yeah, so right. some great music there and lots of good drinking and a great atmosphere and right. hopefully perfect weather. Oh, yeah. well... I hope it's not raining. I guarantee, I guarantee perfect weather. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, any weather is perfect if you're inside or out. You know, That's right. You can get underneath the shelter. You're still good. So now you guys are going to play something for us today. And what is that? Um, I think we decided on uh, Gun in the Glove Box. It's a song we, I've written. And it's a song that you've written and they've helped put the okay. music to it. Right? Gun in the Glove Box. Mm -hmm.
Well, that was great, you guys. Thank you. And that's just a taste of what they're going to get to hear on June the 11th, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, just a minor. Um, it's, it's a little version of it, I guess. The yeah. Acoustic version. Acoustic, <laughs> acoustic version. version. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think you guys did wonderful. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing all this on June the 11th. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. So is there anything we need to make sure people know? before they come on June the 11th? Is there, do they need to bring anything? Do they need to make sure they're there at a certain time? We well, just need, oh sorry Joe, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, look, we just need them to bring as many people as they can um, <laughs> and be ready to have a good time. So really good stuff. Yeah, yeah. come on out and six, about six o'clock, uh, doors are gonna open up and, and you know, it's all original music and it's local music. And I think if anybody needs to know anything, in our travels, um, Madison, Indiana is just, it's just some great music here. It's outstanding musicians and outstanding music. So come out and support us and support any live music around Madison. It's a, it's a great music scene and you can't go wrong. Well, that's great, you guys. I tell you, I appreciate you guys being here. It was great to have you out and uh, we'll have you back again, I'm sure. All right, okay. so, thank you. Support local music. Be sure to check out Chris Jesse Music at Facebook.com. Oh my goodness, we always need a reminder, so that's great. Make sure you check them out. This is Debbie Crawford. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>